some questions from the black box. There we go, yeah. So as mentioned, these are questions that have been sent in by Dancers Network followers. So first question, what was your favorite job and why? <laughs> I know mine. Yes, I definitely know mine. My favorite job was Camilo Cabello. Uh, I've heard the story so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably tell it for you. Um, Royston was representing me on this job, which was absolutely incredible. It already started off insane. The team was incredible. The choreographers, the dancers, like just everything about it. herself, the energy. You know, everybody wanted this to be the best it could be. And even in a position, then after a little while, I then asked for a higher rate. I did because I. I couldn't get over the fact that I'm doing the same as an American dancer, mm -hmm. but getting paid less just because of my geographic station at the moment. Again, I'm from Brazil. I lived in Switzerland. I live in the UK. I moved into LA. It doesn't matter where I live. I still am the talent that I am. So this is what I asked my agent and my agent felt very comfortable asking for that. And then this is essentially what I got. And there wasn't, I don't know if there was a fight about it because if there was, I never knew, but it was. I felt really, really valued. I felt very much appreciated on stage, off stage, during, before and after. Like it was absolutely like my dream job. And like till this day, I'm, I'm everything about it is, it was perfect. Sounds good. Anyone else? I, I mean, I don't think there's a job specifically that is the, I think for different reasons, a job has a different, maybe one is because the way that people around you make you feel, yeah. one is, Another one is because what you get to do in what venue you get to do. So yeah. I could never nail it to one because I think yeah. every job has, you know, who you've met, who you've worked for. Yeah. Oh my God, someone that is the greatest talk to me and blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, I, I could never nail it to one. I think that, um, you know, all this chit chat, but we really can't forget that you're getting to dance yeah. and do something you absolutely love and um, and that just needs to be the core of it. I mean, yeah. There are people out there who are really living their life miserably, you know, they're just <laughs> going to work and not doing anything that they love and I think that, you know, the opportunity to get to work and do something you love and make that your career is just huge so kind of enjoy every moment of yeah, it definitely. you know be be literally yeah, thankful and, and present and enjoy it mm, there's so many jobs to appreciate like i think i love festivals i don't like festivals are one of my favorite things to do with the crowd the the loudness of the energy with a live band like and um, amc kbrick represent me on a job actually with an artist that I've been working with quite consistently and we've travelled to some amazing places which is essentially what we all aspire to be as dancers and we had this one particular one in Dubai and I don't know what it was about it obviously we've made a connection now with the team we feel extremely proud of the artist and like it's just I just remember being backstage we'll have our little warm up like have our say our little prayer and um it's like the first real show that they were all screaming his name and you know when you're it, it was just so it was just packed it was so busy and then you're watching you feel so proud of the artist you're watching the band set up on stage looking at them like family getting in the zone um psyching yourself up like then you are oh, you hear the drum the first bit of the music and you're all together you know you're going to step on stage you're on stage i just and like looking out to everyone and just really feeling the energy from the audience and that exchange and then looking at the artists, we're all vibing on stage, the art, just everything. Like festivals to me, looking out at that crowd, hearing the live music and being able to dance some great choreo created by the choreographers of our industry and just like really feeling appreciative of we're on a stage doing what we love. Like whatever else goes on, like this is what it's about. Oh, God, I, as I, you've I, just said all that, I was literally like, you brought me back to yeah. when I was saying <laughs> yeah. 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 so right. I was like, oh my God, yeah. you know, yeah. like, yeah. you know, yeah. like, yeah. go, on, go, go, yeah. like, <laughs> oh my God, like, the passion, it's like, no, I'm there, I'm present, this is what we do, this is why we feel so passionate about this, because we are so lucky, what we do is so unique, and 
people really look up to people following their passions and oh if we can just create something that we're just i think that's know. what's beautiful as well like you said is building those relationships with people like you know we're all strangers we come into we come in as a strangers i yeah. like ideally you know we have an idea and you have your family and you sometimes your family don't get it you want to be a dancer right? you, know I mean? <laughs> like, you know what i mean but you come into this world and people are like you gravitate to people that have the same passions as you and then you're on stage and all you're creating and you know even artists you become friends with and you see their growth and you yeah. see them going from like you know the little show with two of you are now it's like 20 of you and yeah. you know and that's what's also amazing it's just you know fulfilling like ambitions and I remember when I was young ambitions used to be something that like could never happen that's what an ambition was like oh what's your ambition oh I want to go on the moon you know what I mean? <laughs> but like certain, like I'm, I think as dancers, we actually fulfill our ambitions. Like I want to perform on stage. I want to, you know, I want to be on TV. I want to dance. I want to do, and you do them. Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just, I think that's really amazing. And just another note as well, um, that this thing about the agents, a lot of us have been there, and they've been in the exact same shoes that you are in. You know, even from dance students two dancers, two choreographers. So, you know, I've really been doing this a long, long, long time and get the vulnerability and the nervousness and the the bit about not wanting to speak up and all of that stuff. But, um, you know, it's like we're real human beings, you know, and, and not these scary things. So just really, really, really just come, come and talk. Mm. Sounds good. That's basically it. <laughs> Check. <laughs> okay, and last question of today. How do you maintain relevance in the industry? Ladies? Ladies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, perspective, how do you maintain relevance in the industry? You know what? I feel like I come from a training background. I love training, and I think it's a very very important to keep training i don't i don't know any other you know profession where you have to actually religiously train like you do for, like any athlete would have to do the same do you know what i mean and that's what we do we are athletes and you know our bodies have to maintain for us to not get injured for us to not you know and adapt and adapt with style. time because you know time is changing and it's changing faster than ever i don't know if it's because i'm getting older but <laughs> 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 It's you know it's getting yeah. It is. Training. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could never dance with you all dancing. No, but like I think it's so glad training. I when I did. Training, training, we were training. slow. Bam, bam. I was on the. Well, I would definitely say training, and I think also, again, moving with time. Like a lot of people see social media as a negative thing. I think it can be a beautiful tool that you can use to stay relevant, that you can use to showcase the new things you've learned, that you can use. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's so many negative things about it, of course, but that is something that you can use it for. And I think that's pretty helpful because back in the days, it was very hard to show. What you can do now it's very easy to find okay what can this person okay cool got it you know what i mean yeah so yeah. it's also very important to treat yourself as a business yeah mm -hmm. you know each dancer is a business you're a brand and i hate that word brand but you're like a brand it. yeah <laughs> i just i, I mean I, I don't hate the word it's just very <laughs> that word right now but you know everyone's a business so you know have your um have your photos have your show rule. Mm -hmm. like you said if you've got instagram and facebook use those as tools to you know to showcase yourself and be very wary of what you put on those platforms. You know, it's all good having class, 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 but then, you know, you also don't want to be in the club, in the club, in the club. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously that does reflect who, you, who you're trying to showcase as a brand. Um, and just make sure that when when asked, you have it. You know, there's a lot of people who ask these days and they know. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, can I have your pictures? Oh, I haven't taken any pictures. Why? Mm. That's a detriment to you. You know what I mean? So make sure that you are you have your your um your points of contact so just know what you're talking about you know and have and make sure you're a business and a walking business yeah, yeah. i am um, i really really believe in this and that's fatima was actually saying this um over the summer talking to a group of students and she was really like you need to stay ready 
that is that is the point right mm -hmm. you've got to stay ready all the time that means your pictures up to date that means your cv every time you finish a job update it directly onto your cv so that not when you're asked for it it's not like oh and i can't get it to you till 6 p.m because i actually have to sit there and write it all down you know keep doing your research absolutely 100 percent training 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 Mm -hmm. to just popping in, learning new skills. And that's the way that you stay relevant, but you're really just kind of staying ready, staying mm -hmm. on top of your game. I think what you've just touched base on there is really important actually research. Um, like with what choreographers are actually choreographing for what artists right now, like even some dancers, I'm amazed. I'm like, you really have done your research. They know what artists could potentially be going on tour next, and then they'll know what choreographers would be potentially choreographing it. So then they'll look up their classes if they're from America, or they'll be in the classes if they're from London, and they will make themselves seen, and they will stay relevant purely because they've just done their research and mm -hmm. look back and figure out what is coming up next. And um, even in regards to auditions, like the style, the way that you dress like it, like all you say this a lot, Weston, as well, like to just, yeah, be very particular about how you're gonna present yourself in that audition and how you're gonna dress and be seen because that will potentially benefit whether you're gonna get the job or not. But also research in regards that, no, to what is coming up. Is make sure when you're dressing, you're dressing that suits you. Yeah. yeah. Don't get on that bandwagon no, of your dressing. Style. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the particular style and that's the flavour. Then you walk into audition, everyone kind of looks the same, and or you're wearing something that totally doesn't suit you because you think that that's. And that's all that about knowing the, your business. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's just being a clever dancer, not just a dancer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Smart dancer. Being a yeah, professional. Smart dancer. Yeah. Yeah. And the only, but the only way you're going to get smart is by asking and observing, you know, learning, growing yeah. every single day and researching. I think research is a really good one. Do things that scare you. It's the only one of progressing. What's that? What's that? Do things that scare you. That's the only way of progressing yeah, forward. Yeah, feel the fear. Do it. Anyway. If you feel comfortable doing it, then that means you're not forward in anywhere. You're just doing what you do. Okay, we're dropping quotes because I have a few notes. Hashtag. I don't know them like, by heart. Hashtag. This is my word. Hashtag. Be the movement. Hashtag. <laughs> No, that's great. Yeah. No, really good. And thank you again, everyone, for coming down. I know that Dancers Network are really grateful. And yeah, everything that was discussed, I believe, will really, really help people that are in the industry and are coming in the industry. So again, a massive thank you to everyone. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Guys. Thank you.